Well, here we are. It is day whatever it is. Um, I haven't been editing. I have no idea. Probably in the high 60s, I would imagine. Maybe, maybe low 70s. I, I hope it's not in the 70s yet. But yeah, we've got our boss army bred up. Everything should be ready to go here. We just uh, start uncryoing everything. And because I switched the game to PvE mode, I normally play in PvP mode so I can level grind my boss army like you saw in the last episode. But you switch it to PvE mode, and although I can't level my boss creatures with babies the same way I did, now I don't have to worry about cryo sickness. So I can just throw these guys out. No problem. Boom. How you doing, 18? A little weak yet. There's Medic. And General. And these guys should be good and full. Yep. Okay, let's go get some meat. For our Deodon. And I'll come back, and hopefully 18's healed by the time we get back. I'm going to hang on to these Medjoberries, actually. I've had a little bit of a Medjoberry shortage back home. So now I can just... Oop. Now I can just transfer all of that raw meat into the Deodon, and it will have food. 18's pretty much healthy. Alright, I think we're good. Alright, here we go. Gamma first. I'm nervous. I'm always nervous. Gamma should be cakewalk though. It's beta I'm worried about. One is down. Well, I'd say this was a success. How'd you guys do? Barely damaged. One's in the front. Barely damaged. Barely damaged. Oh, I think we can do beta. Oh, I think we can do beta. And get these guys healed up. And I get myself some food and water, too. Okay, everything has been healed up. And many of these guys got a level up, so they've had that applied. And we should be good to go again. Unless something miraculous happens, um, I don't plan on doing alpha. 
even if we do decide we want to do alpha or I decide I want to do alpha, it's not like you guys are making the decision. Um, but even if I do decide that I want to do alpha, I'm going to need one more artifact of the clever and one more artifact of the massive, which I could do that. And then I'm going to need some more Sarko skin, Sauropod, Vertebra. So, man, that would be, and I might need some more Boa Venom. Yeah, I think I'm going to need some more Boa Venom too. So, that would definitely be a trip to the swamp on my Thyla. We will see. I, beta has to go extremely well for me to try Alpha. I don't want to do it today. I'll just be honest. Unless Beta goes crazy, I, I don't plan on doing Alpha today at all. I just, I don't, I do not believe personally that this boss army is good enough to beat Alpha. I think I'm going to get stomped if I try Alpha. Now, that said, let's do beta. Here we go. Okay, so this is the second time I've ever fought the beta brood mother. This is the only other boss I have ever fought. Gamma and beta brood mother is it. That's all I've ever done. And when I fought the beta brood mother, I died. And I don't think it was even really that close. Um, there we go. Wait, why was the Deodon in there? I don't I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think it's even going to be close. There goes Omega Ethereum. I didn't bring anything in with me. I wasn't prepared to lose. I learned that mistake the hard way. Okay, we we're at the halfway point. Man, I wish I had a shotgun. There goes a couple of other Megatheriums. More Megatheriums. No, we're done. We're done. No way. I gotta get in there and start biting.
All right, guys, can you finish it? We got five left. Let's go 17, come on. All on her now. <laughs> oh, holy, that was close. You guys are legends. Oh, yes. 75 element total. That was... The, the thing is, that, that boss army took so long to breed, bro. I'm going to need an Ascendant Saddle to do Alpha. There's no way. I need an Ascendant Saddle to do Alpha. What do you guys look like? Half health... Mostly dead, mostly dead, and mostly dead. And general is mostly dead. Well, I won't need to breed a new Uteranus, but I will need to breed a new Deodon. Okay. Oh, should probably get a shotgun too. So at this point, I'm looking at doing what? Gamma Megapithecus, maybe? Next? So let's cryo you guys up, the survivors. Yeah, I didn't think Alpha was going to happen. Beta is the real boss fight. Let's Let's be honest here. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and pull the gas. I don't need all that gasoline in here. So, there you have it. Two boss fights. The Gamma and the Beta. Man, I have never beaten that before. This time I was ready. This time. This time I was ready. <laughs> I knew Alpha was going to be a bad idea. Yeah. Okay, so next. Next on the docket, so I got 20 plus 56, so that's 76 element. Right? Uh, next thing I need to do is breed myself up a monkey army and get ready to do the monkey. I can probably do the easy ocean cave on Baryonyx back. I'd rather not, though. I think it might be time to go Basilo taming. Do I need to do the cave of the immune? Or the cave of the pack? Yeah, we've got uh, quite the hill in front of us. So... Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to need... All that for Gamma, Megapithecus? Is it even worth doing Gamma? No, I have to do Gamma. I mean, I might as well. It'll be super easy. I have to do Gamma to do Gamma Tech Cave. So do Gamma and Beta Megapithecus. So I'm going to need an Otter. 
I'm going to need Basilos. I'm going to need to clear the Easy Ocean Cave. The Artifact of the Pack. The Artifact of the de Devourer? Does Dragon require four? Okay, hang on. Tech rep, boots. That's it. That's all I got. Tech rep, tech boots, and some building pieces. Ech. It's all useless stuff. Unless I'm going to build that tech rep. Yeah, I'm not doing hard ocean cave. Not yet. Definitely not. So let's pop this stuff in the uh, trough. We'll hatch up a batch of Rex eggs so that we can get the Rexes. Um, I think I have six Rexes right now. I want to get this up to eight to ten. Somewhere around there. So, let's do this. I need to pull my Megatheriums out and get them breeding again so I can have a new boss army. But honestly, I don't think it is really necessary right now to, to start working on another Megatherium boss army. I think I pull the Deodons out, make another Deodon. I still have General. Because honestly, the monkey is next. We'll get these eggs, we'll start hatching these eggs, and then I will go and see what is required to fight the Megapithecus. We'll start working on that. Let's see if we can do Gamma Beta, Gamma Beta, Gamma Beta. Will I get it all done before day 100? I don't think I'll do Tech Cave before day 100. I might get the dragon done, maybe. We will see. We will see. Remember, we are now at a part of the game that this is completely unexplored territory for me. So, I, I, you know, I know as, as much as you do about how this is going to go at this point. Um, I have seen other people do this stuff. I have an idea of what I need to do, but I've never done it myself. And here I was thinking, man, I'm going to be doing boss after boss after boss. No, no, I'm not going to be doing boss after boss after boss. Somebody's got to... Clear some caves. So let's get these. Whatever turns female out of this, we will consider. Oh, and I'm going to start making yellow kibble too. It's just cheaper. So let's pop the Rex eggs in here. Furt Rex down here. I can put that blueprint away now. Because I need a better saddle. No way. No way, no how. I need I need creatures that are like level 250 to start with that. And then level them up to be over 300. If I'm going to use a saddle like that. Seventy six element. To fight the monkey, I'm going to need fur armor so I don't freeze to death. I can make, uh, what's it, focal chili? It keeps you warm? Or enduro stew? One of those two? Anyways, I can make this stuff that keeps you warm. And then, um, save myself an otter. So that I don't freeze to death. That means I'm gonna need 17 rexes. And when I do, when I do fight the megapithecus, I need to be ready to go in and do alpha right away. Because that's the easiest alpha boss fight by far. So if I can get Rexes that are good enough and get a good enough Rex saddle BP, I can just walk in with Rexes, get the uh, Megapithecus, boom, boom, and boom, all done, all, all at once. And uh, walk away with all of that element and be fully teched out and ready to go for uh, Dragon Endgame. But we are officially in the endgame now. I've beat a boss. I have element. Um, if I faced the gamma two more times, I could uh, have enough element to get myself a tech rep. But I'm pretty sure that tech rep requires black pearls. And I do not have black pearls or a good way to get black pearls. Except for hunting trilobites endlessly. And I am not doing that. Not going trilobite hunting. I think it might be, now that we're in the endgame... I think it might be time to turn on some more QOL mods. Creature storage is, is kind of becoming a pain at this point. It's still the same day as when I started. So let's head out to Blue Ob. 
I can pick up some uh, sap while I'm on my way out there. Honestly, given how much trouble I've seen other people have with it, we might do Alpha Brood last. Which means Alpha Dragon might be coming first. Whew. And the caves are not the problem. Well, it is with the dragon, but not with the brood. No, it's like... You need Ascendant Megatherium Saddles. You need good level Megatheriums. I might fail. Might just fail. Alright, let's go stand in the Arctic North in our underwear. And see what we need to do for this boss fight. Root, Devourer, Pack. Megalania Toxin, Spinal Saddle, Megalodon Tooth, not a problem. Therizino Claws, eh, Thylacolio Hook Claw. Okay. Brute Devourer Pack. So by the way, we're going to need 15 of each of those. Spinal Saddle, Spinal Sails, Thylacolio Hook Claws, Therizino Claws, those are not a problem. However, unfortunately, um, the Megalania Toxin, I have seen and killed one Megalania ever. Through the whole game. So where are these things? How do I kill them? I don't think killing them is going to be a problem. But one must kill them. In order to get their toxin. <sighs> so the brute. And what was it? Pack and devourer? So I don't need the artifact of the immune. That's a dragon artifact. It was Brute Pack and Devourer, right? Brute Cave is Ocean East, I'm pretty sure. And then the pack is the cave I went in earlier with the Baryonyx and wasn't able to get through. And then Devourer is the one on Carnal Island. I think I can I can get the one on Carnal Island with the Baryonyx. But that's not an issue. Um, the pack I can get with a frog, pretty sure. So then it would be immune, Sky Lord. What's the one? Strong? The one in the snow cave? I think it's the strong. Is that purple with a ring? Or is that blue with a ring? That's purple with a ring. I gotta get that. So hard snow. Bo actually, both snow caves for dragon. The Swamp Cave that you have to be immune to, and then the Hard Ocean Cave, which there are only two ways to clear it. It's either speed run it and just, you know, take something super fast in and hope nothing eats you, or or go in with Basilo, probably a pair of Basilos imprinted. I think this is purple. A Rainio Saddle, okay. Take the Gilly. Man, I might as well wear that for a bit. I already have Dunkley stuff. I can make one I, with the blueprint I got if I need one. If it was Ascendant, I'd take it, but it's not. Should make a grinder, too. Can start grinding up some of this extra stuff that I've got. The leftover Megatherium saddles, so I can grind them up. So there is one nice thing. Because I have Rexes now, on top of the Uteranus, I can start killing Rex babies and Uteranus babies alternatingly in order to get the experience that I need for any boss creatures that I tame up. And now for the dragon. Cunning, immune, Skylord, strong. So, Cunning must be the one in the Hard Ocean Cave. So yeah, it's the Artifact of the Strong, Immune, Skylord, Cunning. Okay. 
And then Aloe Brain, Basilo Blubber, Tuso Tentacle. So you, you have to get into the ocean and be a powerful force in the ocean. A Giga Heart, Rex Arm, Yudi Lung. Well, there we go. Now we know what we need to do. We need to breed up Rexes for the Gorilla Army. We need to get Ocean Bound, more so than we already are. Like, a decent leveled Megalodon that doesn't have a mate partner. A Ichthy that I haven't made the Ascendant Saddle for. And an Anglerfish. This is not going to cut it. We need a Basilo. And we need one immediately. Because I also need Black Pearls. I'm at that point of the game now. I need Black Pearls. Now, I, I can get by without Black Pearls until it's time for Dragon stuff. But even still, I need Black Pearls if I'm going to be making this um, tech rep. You need Black Pearls for the tech rep. So, I, I need a way to kill alpha creatures in the water and to kill Mosas and to kill Tusos that aren't alphas. So I need a way to do that. Basilos are honestly the best way to do that. Unless I want to tame a Mosa. Underwater T-Rex. Okay, so. Real quick before I get off. Let's take a look. Gun to store dinos. Terminal to store dinos. Auto collect babies. Collect and incubate fertilized eggs. Uh, everything is admin configurable. Okay. So I would turn off resource generation. And I wouldn't use it for resource generation. But I would use this for dino storage. And I would still only take creatures into a cave. When they were capable of fitting through the cave. No cryos in a cave. So this is my first, uh, I've already up, uh, installed it because it was on a server that I was playing on. This is my first question. What do you guys think of Super Cryo Storage? I don't think it would be too overpowered, and I think it could help me, uh, you know, as the end game gets really difficult to manage, the, the dinos that I have could be very useful. So, should basically it would be, should I enable Super Cryo Storage? Should I enable Super Cryo Storage? Not for resource gathering, but for breeding, for dino management, for automatic egg collection, and just making the whole process of leveling my dinos easier. Should I do that? What do you guys think? I will leave that question for you guys to answer in the comments. And um, I'm going to take a small break because I've been playing so much ARC lately. Um, so I'll be back in a couple of weeks with probably another episode of Day by Day. And I, I do need to start playing on the server with the guys uh, more regularly. Uh, and that will mean more episodes of ITGK Survives. That... There is no schedule for that. It is just when I'm on on a server, you guys are going to see me play and record that session or those sessions and put that up online. So that's kind of my multiplayer ser series now. But yeah, um, so I, I just I, I'm so there's a, this thing in my brain that's like obsessed with the island now because I feel like there's so much that needs to be done and I'm so close to getting major major milestones that i've never done before accomplished and it's like hey you know like get it done <sighs> all right well thank you for watching um leave a like if you enjoyed this video leave a comment again let me know what you think of super cryo storage should i turn it on should i not um because i'll i'll finish the map regardless it'll just it would just make things easier and and less time consuming um, and then don't forget to subscribe 
and ring the bell to be notified when future episodes of this and my other series go up. That being said, my name is In The Game Kaya. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode, where hopefully we start making progress on the Megapithecus. Goodbye.